three key things. One, interactivity. It has to be interactive. I've tried so many things, like videos, where kids watching, they come and go, oh, that math makes so much sense now. And then when we test them, they just, for, I mean, it's like they didn't learn anything from the video. It has, they have to do stuff. They have to learn by doing. It has to be interactive. It has to be informative feedback. The vast majority of feedback I see throughout is, uh, you're wrong, or yay, you got it right. But why was it wrong, and why was it right? That's informative, and that needs to happen. It also, you also need to use intrinsic motivation. Motivation um, is a very tricky thing, and most of the time, people try to give rewards, especially when they're using a video game approach. And it turns out that those things don't work very well. You have to build something called intrinsic motivation. Um, and so it has this mathematical honesty to it. It's not just memorization for memorizi memorization's sake. What you're doing, the thing that's helping you memorize it is under, being able to compose and decompose tens, which is a useful skill besides just the memorization in and of itself. So interactivity and formative feedback is great, but if you're teaching something like math, make it mathematically honest.